Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So basically, uh, firstly, in this problem, I'll show you two approaches. If you just want to solve this problem, watch the starting five, six minutes video and that would be done. But if you want to just learn more about ORs or bit manipulation operations, then I will highly recommend please watch the approach too also. Both have the same complexity, everything is same. Just that to learn more about how the bits work. I'll recommend that part. But yeah, good. Let's quickly jump to the question itself. Uh, it says aluminium flips to make or A or B equal to C. The question is itself up till here only. We have a number A, we have a number B, A or B. I hope that you know what's OR operation. But if still not, I'll still show you. But then A or B needs to be equal to C. Uh, which means that we have three possible integers A, B and C written the minimum flips required. Minimum flips. In some bits of A, and b to make a or b equal to c so basically we can flip in a or we can flip in b but a or b needs to be become equal to c okay cool when we say flip we can actually flip which means one can be flipped to zero and zero can flip to one which means inversing the flip bell like bits cool uh, let's quickly jump to any example test case you can see that a and b are something like this so what we want is c so basically, if we have A as um, 0, 0, 1, 0, B as 0, 1, 1, 0, and when we say bits, see, whenever we apply, see, firstly, 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 always remember, whenever you are about to think of applying a bit operation, convert the number to its binary representation, convert the number to its binary representation, and then start to think in the form of bits. Without even converting the number in the binary representation, you cannot start to think in the form of bits. And I ultimately want as a 1, 0, 1, which is 5. Cool. So I will easily see that, okay, I want a 1 here, but Ultimately, if, if I do an OR operation of this, so it will become a 0, 1, 1, 0. That's it. So it should be, and it should be equal to this. It should be equal to this. To make it equal, okay. 0 is same. 0 is same. Are chal ja bhai. Are chal? Yeah. 0 is same. No worries. 1 is same. No worries. But here you can see, 1 is flipped to 0, which means, okay, I need to do a flip operation. And 0 is flipped to 1, which means I need to do a flip operation. For sure. And see, whenever I'm trying to think of in the terms of bits, I took the example itself. And then from that example, I'm trying to modify, okay, so what should be the answer, what I want and what is coming out. Cool. Now what I want is, okay, this one bit, it is, it is, it is coming as one. A or B is coming as one. I wanted to, it to be zero. And we know the OR operation, it can only be zero when both the bits are zero because it is like, okay, one or one is one, one or zero is one, um, one or zero is one, zero or one is one, and zero or zero is only zero. So basically, result of two or two or, or operations of any number can only become zero when both the numbers are zero. So for sure, if it is coming as one, if I want to make this as a zero, because I know the output is zero, I want to make both of these bits, these bits as zero. And I can easily see, okay, both of them are one. So for sure, I have to make both of them as zero. So basically, I have to apply two operations here to make both of them as a zero. Cool. No worries. But I didn't, if it would have been only one zero, okay, it, it, it would have been only one one, then I would have just simply made one only as zero. If it would have been the case, okay, that this would have been one. So I would have, I would have made this one as zero. As simple as that. So it is more of like, whichever is one make that one as a zero right and bo if both are one we have to make both as zero because we know for sure that our number is only it, it can only be zero when actually both the bits are zero so for sure i know the operation applied here are two now for this operation to make this zero as one i know i can have three operations but to make my result as one i can have three operations but 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 I know it's zero, which means both the bits would have been zero. I want the minimum flip operations. Okay. I can see that. Okay. If I just flip only one bit itself, only one bit itself, it can result to a one. It can result to a one. So for sure, why to flip both the bits? I can flip any of the one bit of anyone. I can flip this just one bit, either of A or of B, and I can easily get a one here. That's how I just converted my A or B to C. You saw what happened? You saw what happened? 
ultimately what I was doing was I was just simply using this a b and I know this c okay I just go on you can go on from any end either start or end but it is very 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 easy to go on from the end in the bits why because you can just access the last bit very easily now if you want to access this bit because let's say you have access the last bits and you want to access now this bit just do a left shift so that all these bits are gone and then you can access the last bit so basically accessing the last bit is very easy thus we try to access from the end itself cool let quick let's quickly go back and now see if i had to make this a zero i know both the bits should be zero okay i see that one of them are is actually a bit which is set so i need to apply one operation here right to convert that to a zero okay one operation applied here here i know okay it is one and for sure one of the bits are one so no operation one 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 of the bits is one no operation if i just look at here okay it will come as one but i need to apply operation to become at zero so both needs to be zero so for sure both will come to zero operation applied at two here it will one okay cool one cool so basically it's just going from the end and checking every bit a b and c c if the bit of c is one then just check okay firstly if the bit of c is zero and both the bits of these r1 or anyone okay let's say if it is output is zero and let's say if it is a case okay one one if it is a case one zero if it is a case zero or uh, one is zero i know in this op in this case operation applied a two operation applied a one operation apply applied a one because i want to make both of them as zero so simply just count okay if both of them are set just uh two only one just one only one just one that is how if it is if the bit of c is zero but what if it is one if it is one then i only need to do a modification when both the bits are zero okay in this case no modification required let's say in this case no modification required in this case no modification required but if both would have been zero just make one of them as one just make one of them as one that is the simple two cases either either my c bit is zero or my c bit is one if it is zero just c that uh, number of operations required to make both the bits as zero if it is one just see okay if the both the bits are zero just modify one bit now let's quickly 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 jump to the code it's very 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 easy firstly i said that it's very easy to access the last bit of any number by just simply doing a, a and one and are how is that possible it is simply possible by just simply saying okay if i have a number five as one zero one and i want to access just the last bit okay if it is a set bit or not i can simply do an and operation with one because and operation will simply make sure that okay everything will come as a zero in the beginning and only the last bit if it is a one it will come as one if it is a zero it will come as a zero that's the reason i'll just simply do an and operation with one to get okay what is the last bit of that number so i just said it is easy to get the last bit of a number from back that's the reason we just usually go from back to the starting cool and you for sure know that okay the integer limit was a 32 bit integer because it is 29 up till so i can just simply go for loop which means i have to go out every bit because i know in bit operation i have to apply operation on every bit so i will go on to every every bit and by that bit operation itself i will just simply know okay if this bit if, the, if this bit was it or not if it is good not good cool uh, then by this operation i will just simply get the bit of a bit of b bit of c right cool now i have got the last bit of that number now as i showed you if it is a zero we we'll just go and check the bits of a and bits of b right because i if 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 it is okay bits of a is one bits of b is zero operation required to make the output as zero is nothing but one that's the reason i just added the bits of a and bits of b while if the bits of c is one bit of c is one then i need to make, I need to make sure that both the bits are zero i need to make sure both the bits are zero because i know if the output of bit of c is one and both the bits of a and b are zero only then i need to apply any operation and what's the operation just flip any of the one bits 
that's it so if both the bits of a and b are zero just flip any of the one bits and you will be good to go and ultimately as i know that okay my last bit has been accessed my last bit has been accessed now it is no more required i want to go on to the like it before that so simply do a right shift operation simply do a right shift operation right shift operation by this right shift operation what will happen is this will go down which means out of this particular whole stuff and now your number will be like, like this right shift is nothing but dividing that number by two that's it right and simply shifting that to the next number if i have a number like one zero one one zero one if i do a right shift it will become a one 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 zero if i do again right shift then it will become like this again it will become like this again it will become like this it's basically shifting that number to the end so it will just the bits will just get dropped down it's simply a right shift cool uh so by, by this right shift the last bit will just, will just get dropped down and you will easily be access able to access the next bit which is available to you and that is how by simply applying this loop you can have a while loop or a for loop any loop whatsoever but the loop will act max go to 32 times which is a constant number that's the reason the time complexity is o of 1 and space is also o of 1 that is how you will simply solve this problem now 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 if you have got this very 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 easy just i will show you another technique to solve this problem just a one liner but for that it's not required for sure if you are done you can just simply skip that part but it is just to show you okay how the bit manipulation work how you can actually think of bit manipulations how you do have to draw because it's a very easy question of bit manipulation but hard question also come in how to solve that part how will you solve that part now we had this a b we know okay it has a or ultimately i have want to make this or as simply a c so if i just look at this or very carefully and i look at the c very carefully what you can know what you can notice you can notice that okay the, this part is same only this part is being changed right which means i see okay this is same this is same only this is being changed so i just want okay what is the change how much how much is the change right when firstly but firstly firstly is required what is the change actually because see here the change is from one to zero which is actually actually a legit change and i want to count this change so for sure my main task is okay to count this change one is transformed to zero. Oh, this is one change which is happening so for sure i want to count okay how much such changes are happening so i have this a or b i have this c if i want to count okay it should come as zero the change should come as zero the here the change should come as one because one change has happened so what is the operation you think that it should be applied one one zero one one zero one zero one what's the operation you can think of a simply zor operation because a simple zor one zor one is zero zero zor zero is one while one zor zero or zero zor one is actually a one that's the reason you can simply apply a zor operation and can simply find okay what is this change like but 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 and by this you can actually see okay if you get this number now you will just count the number of a set bits in this particular number which is a or b zor c and you can simply find the answer because it will just say okay just modify one bit and you will get the answer but it was the change I'll just quickly repeat the same stuff again. What if the number had changed? If earlier it was 2, 5 and A or B was this. Earlier now it is 3, 5. Now A or B is 1, 1, 1. Same. A or B was earlier also 1, 1, 1. Here also the 1, 1, 1. And C is actually 6. Same. It is actually 6. Now you will see, okay, again, I, you will see, again, again I, I can see that, okay, the change here is this. Which means only the change will be occupied here. So if I apply the same operation, it will say, okay, A or B, Zor C, which will give me one change happening, one change happening. So the answer should have been one. But I will say no. Why? Because both the bits were set. So you had to modify both the bits. Okay, the change was there. The change was happening. But it is OR operation, right? Here, the change was happening. The change was required. But the count of change was one. Here also the change is required for sure, but the count of change is two, which means one extra change. It can bring on one change, which means one count. But you also have to think of the fact that what if both the bits are set? 
and see it is something you can't mug up or anything you have to try it firstly firstly whenever the whenever this problem comes in the contest go by the first way and not this way it is just to make you familiar with the or zor and oppression and the accumulation of these operations such that the harder problems you can actually solve it and it's not okay Aryan, mujhe to yaad karna padega ki a and b hota hai and ye ye hota hai nahi just remember you have to bring in the examples and from example dry run and checking okay a and b is this we want a or b okay this bit should be set so i need to do a zor like this think like this in an interview or in an examination but it is just to show you show you that what actually you can think of right cool now i just know okay the change i can have as one the change i can have as one which it can come from this side which is a or b or c and just counting the number of set bits in this particular number but still there can be a chance that the change rather than just one it can be a two i, I maybe it, it can be two change how to know that part this is this was impacting us right so simply i know okay one one then both needs to be changed so for sure if both needs to be changed we know one one both are impacting when both are impacting and you know both should be impacting so for sure do an and operation so i did an and operation to get a number as zero zero one now i did an and operation i know okay i have this one 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 this one one zero i know the impact here was zero zero one because i saw okay the impact here was a zero zero one now i will see the impact also needs to be one here the one will show okay that number that number is impacting twice here the one is saying okay i have counted one impact shall i also count the other impact it will say yeah that must impacting twice so i can simply do an and operation between these two and if that bit is still set which means that number is impacting twice earlier you had counted one impact again count its one impact that's the reason again this number will come if i do an and operation it will come as zero zero one and that one will show me okay it still had an impact so please count one extra impact which of which was of other number that is see again it is not that easy to get it but still just go on and again you if you don't get it by this example just try to run with some other, other example or just watch this video again but you will get that part right so what i did was simply do a, a and b to get okay if that number has multiple impacts or not which means that bit if the bit is set it will show okay hey i have i have two impacts and this number will show okay if that bit was actually having at least one impact if it is it was having at least one impact just please also count its one more impact it will be counted again so basically i will just count one impact and it will count okay if it is having one more impact or not that is how i will simply do a, a or b or c and also a, a and b and a or b or c which is this operation and this operation is this just count the number of set bits which will show the impact of every bit change impact of every bit change and that is how you will get the answer same type of routine space over one but this was just to show you okay please 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 remember how the or zor and and operation can be linked together it's please 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 don't memorize any of this part just remember what is a or b a a or b and a and b that's it that is it you need to simply remember in this part and that would be it cool i hope that you guys got it the video has become a bit long but still i wanted to show you this code also that you must be able to find out an interview and because see, it is not helpful in this question but for sure it can be helpful in other questions for sure that's the reason i just tried to show you but yeah cool see you guys in the video